Hi everybody. Um, today I'm going to be making two pieces of jewelry using this. This is a tassel for a curtain. Um, I'm going to be making a pair of earrings using the actual tassels and then using the rope. I'm going to be making it into a chain and adding some beads to make a pendant. So basically, um, using this. Now this measures about 60, 60 inches, I say. Um, also using some earring hooks that I picked up from the Harbidashi store. And also this is some beads. Now I got these beads together. It came in, in this bag together. But you could collect beads from um, craft store or haberdashery store or anywhere. Um, any beads that you, you choose, any beads you want is up to you. I also have, th now this is some fine gauge wire. I say it is as, well, as fine as, as thread, so it's easy enough for me to use it, to, sorry, to use my fingers and to use the normal scissors to cut it and to manipulate it how I want. So if you're interested in finding out how I made these earrings and this chain, please stay tuned. So I basically, um, I cut both tassels. Now what I did was, right where this um, tassel starts, I measured one and a half inches on my ruler. And, and then I cut, and I did that for both tassels. And I got my hot glue gun, and I sealed the ends. Um, just put it, making sure that I covered all three sides, and then I, I um, just waited until it was a bit cool, and then I rubbed my fingers together to seal both of the ends, and this is what it looks like. Now, um, I'm going to add add the beads. Now depending on whichever beads you purchase will determine the look that you get. Uh, I'm just going to do whatever looks right because I haven't planned anything per se. Um, so just taking um, random beads. I'm just going to string it through. Or maybe not. Okay. Perfect. Now, um, because, well, you probably won't be able to see, but because these beads are so, um, the, the holes on these beads are so small, um, I can just knot the ends. I'll probably double knot it to, to make sure the knot is big enough and the bead, bead doesn't um, fall off. Actually, I think I knot it three times just to make sure the hole is big in the sorry the knot is big enough. Um, again, just taking any random bead that I find and um, I think to give it an added look, I'll be. Um, adding the beads on that different length. So for here, for this one, I added the bead like close to the very top. This is just to give it um, not a uniform look, just to make it look a bit different. And then um, another bead and I'll probably add it close to the end. Again, you can use whatever beads you want. You could um, add how many beads you want. Um, this is very much a personal choice. Um, I just like to go along um, with whatever looks right. Um, so whatever looks right to you, do you, basically. Okay, so I added, I added my beads. 
um, I think I'll add a bit more. And as I told you, if you go to any um, haberdashery or craft store, um, you can find a variety of beads. Okay, there you go. And I add this close to the middle. And again, double or triple knots in, depending on how big um, the hole on, holes on your beads are. So basically, this is the look um, we have so far. I just keep adding some more beads until I get the look that I want, and I'll be right back. See you in a bit. Okay, so taking the fine gauge wire that I showed you before, um, just going to at the very top of of the tassel, get the wire, and you want to make like small loop. So you have basically one long end that you haven't cut yet, and one short end, and you just twist it twist the short end around the long end. Then you could twist it around. And when you get to the top, just wrap it around a couple a few times, I say about six or seven times. And then what you want to do is you want to cut a say about an inch and a half again and cut it and this is a slightly tricky part you're going to take the wire and you're going to um, go you're going to find one of, of the wires underneath and you're going to slide this wire I'm not sure if you can see but I'll try to talk you through it try to slide the end of the wire underneath underneath one or two of the wires it's a bit tricky but once you get it, then um, pull it through, like so. And this is the back of the earring. I want it to be the back of the earring. If and then you get your earring hook, and you slide it on. Oops. And basically slip it on and then what you want to do is loop it in twice so as you see here is one loop and I'm going to put the end back through the loop again like so and then twist around the top the, the top of the tassel again and then just to secure make sure it's secure I'm going to get my hot glue gun and that's it so now you have Two completed earrings. Um, stay tuned for pictures to see how they look. See you in a bit. Oh, and stay tuned for part two where I make the pendant out of um, the rope from the tassel. See you. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.